Pay close attention to this video. A woman was saying goodbye to her husband with a kiss and while she was hiding something in the passenger seat of her husband's car. She then asks him if he would really just work and he says yes. She said she had a surprise for him and he says she needn't worry. When her husband leaves, she says that all the lies her husband told would soon be discovered. Later, he comes back and she tells him that he had been slow to come back. He says it had taken a while because the traffic was so complicated. At that moment, the woman realizes that another woman had gotten out of the man's car and she was in a lot of pain. She then says that she was worried about the other woman as she appeared to have hurt herself. The man says that the other woman had been hurt by something and that he was also worried. The woman said she would go to the other woman to see if she was okay, but the man tells her not to go. She says that the other woman seemed to be in a lot of pain and then goes to her. She then goes to the other woman and asks if she was okay, the other woman says she wasn't okay but that soon she would feel better. The woman says that her neighbor should care more about it and that she could help her because she had a medicine that could help the other woman in her house. The other woman says that she didn't want to bother the woman with that and that her husband would soon be coming. The man says that the woman was being inconvenient and tells them to leave, but the woman says that they could all eat together so that she would give the medicine to another woman. The other woman says that she didn't want to be a nuisance to the woman and that she couldn't go. The woman says that they had been friends for a long time and that the other woman shouldn't worry about it. The other woman then says that she needs to talk to her husband first, but the woman said that she doesn't need to worry about that and so they go to the woman's house. When they arrive at the woman's house, she helps the other woman sit on the couch. She said she would be back soon and then asked her husband to take care of the other woman while she went to get something for them. When she leaves, the man asks another woman if she was in a lot of pain, but the other woman says no. She then asks the man if he had noticed that the woman was strange. The man says that his wife was going crazy and that they didn't need to worry about it. She then asks if the woman knew they were together, but the man says no and that his wife didn't know anything. The other woman says that he must be right and that the woman was just like her husband and that she would never suspect that they were together. The man tells her she was right and then they embrace. Later, the woman was furious about what had happened. She then spots a friend of hers and runs up to him. She walks up to him and then he asks if she was okay. She then tells him that, unfortunately, his wife was cheating on him with her husband. The other man says he didn't believe what the woman was saying because he thought it was impossible for his wife to cheat on him, but she said she had proof. He then asks what she was talking about and she says that they were together at her house and that they could go there for him to see the truth. The other man says he couldn't believe this was happening and asks her if she was sure what she was talking about. She says yes and that she had discovered it and that she was also a victim of that situation. She asks him to trust her and tells them to come to her house. When she gets back to her house, she realizes that they were kissing and is very surprised by it, but she ends up not making any noise and they continue with what they were doing. She finishes the recording she was making and then tells them that she had come back with the medicine she had told the other woman. She asks what they were doing and then the other woman says they were just drinking water. The woman said it was strange, because the man had told her they were out of water. He says that it was true and that they were really out of water, but that he had forgotten about it. At that moment, someone knocks on the door and the woman says that the other woman's husband should have arrived. When she goes to answer the door, the other woman asks the man what they were going to do. He tells her not to worry, as he would resolve the situation. He then walks up to his wife and compliments her with a kiss. The other man then asks his wife why she didn't say anything that they were going to dinner at the woman's house. She says that a lot had happened that day and that she ended up forgetting to tell her husband. 
The woman says that they could keep talking and if they needed something, they could talk to her. As she leaves, the other man asks her why she is holding that medicine and she says that she had hurt herself, but that the woman gave her that medicine. The other man asks her if she was okay and she says yes and that she just needed to rest. The man then tells them to sit on the couch and they do. Later, they were at the table waiting for the woman and at that moment she arrives with dinner. She hands it to them and tells them that she hoped they would really like what she had prepared. The man says he was sure it was very good. The woman says that she also hoped that they would very much like the surprise she had prepared. At that moment, the other man notices the pictures that were on the plate and he asks his wife what that meant. The other woman says she could explain what was going on, but he says he already knew what was going on. The man tries to talk to the other man, but he tells the man to shut up, as they were friends and that he didn't believe the man had done that to him. He was then leaving, but the other woman told him that they should talk and that she could explain it to him. He says he didn't want to talk to her anymore and then he walks away saying he wanted a divorce. As they leave, the man asks his wife what that meant, and she says it meant he was a traitor. The man then apologizes to the woman but she says that apology alone would not be enough. She said her family had warned her about the man, but that she decided to marry him anyway. He says he was going to change, but she said he was just a man who wanted her money and that from the moment they got married, he didn't work anymore. He then asks her for a second chance so he can show that he was a new man, but tells the woman that she would not give him a second chance after he cheated on her with their neighbor. The man then tells her that she should think better of their son, but she says that precisely because she didn't want her son to grow up around a person like him, she wouldn't forgive him. She then tells him to leave and never come back.